guys uh, that's a horrible cup of coffee it's already cold <laughs> but anyways I'm quickly just wanted to, you know I was going to film something this morning and I figured hey I might as well share my my process with you guys again stepping away from sound phone and then using the camera here same principles apply the only benefit there's the benefits there's a lot of benefits but the main benefit is you get the actual control of those focal lanes Unlike our cell phone, we just got that tele lens or the wide lens, and then we put lens attachments on to simulate what I was doing switching these lenses here. But the benefit of switching these lenses is you can really isolate your subject, back up off your subject, and uh, that's one thing that I find really fun about filming with the camera here. So again, I'm using a Canon EOS with the Magic Lantern hack on here. This is all in 14-bit RAW DNG files. Super fantastic. Color grading will be done in DaVinci Resolve and in the Dehancer plugin. So if you guys like this, you guys want more stuff about moving from how we can move from our cell phones to our... Something just totally fell off the camera. I don't know what that was. So anyways, if you guys like what you see, smash the like. Hit me up with some comments below and let me know what's up. And uh, I'll have some of these, a uh, couple of these clips posted on the on the uh, Patreon. And Patreon folks will have a lot of this whole film filmic look. So catch you guys in the next one. Patrick LeVar, keep filming. Ah, nice and horrible. All right, guys. So next one is going to be my high angle. I want to go with the high angle. I got the cannon aiming straight down. Not, not straight down, but pretty much down angle on it. And again, I switched up to the lenses. Now I'm using the 58 millimeter to get in really close on the subject, isolating the coffee grounds. And, and just when the water pours in, we're getting a really detailed close-up shot of that. So... This is what we basically looking like here in the shot in the camera. One thing and one of the advantages of using a tripod like this, um, I was able to lock all the points and all the joints. So I'm able to lock the uh, rotation and the tilt, which I just bumped it with my arm, which was very nice because it's super tight and you won't lose your framing. And that is one of the advantages of using a, a tripod like this that has all of these latches and stuff on here. I am using the uh, Kodomo K7 head from iFootage and then on the bottom here I've got the the iFootage Gazelle T6, uh, TC9 legs and what's most important is these little type right here I got these little bubblers to make sure I'm getting everything leveled and set and again the difference between a video tripod and a normal tripod the video tripod here you got this handle and that allows me to do really nice smooth pans and tilts because inside of here, there's like a clutch system that allows for very smooth movement. And you can do some extremely uh, silky smooth pans and tilts. I have another video here of me using this tripod if you guys are interested in that. So let's continue getting um, our next shot. All right, for the next sequence, guys, what I'm going to do is be taking away the top filter and stuff like that off the top of the coffee. So I switched uh, to a wider lens here. So now I'm using the 25 millimeter just to back off and everything because it the, the main subject is going to be me, or the main focal point is going to be me taking off the, the coffee filter off on the top. And we don't need to be so extreme close for that. So I'm backing up with the 25 millimeter, and this is what it's looking like here on my framing. And then I'm going to go ahead and do, do the motions on that. 
So the next shot I want to do is here is uh, just basically get a quick shot of me throwing it in the trash. And you see what I try to do here is I got this in the foreground here, focusing on the trash can right there. So as we throw it in, just to give a little bit more depth to the shot, I'm still on the 25 millimeter with my focal point on the trash can. And then I got this here in the foreground. Okay, one thing that's also very powerful about this here, on my level, you can see here, I'm way off. So the tripod is not sitting even, which is super nice is if I unscrew this here on the bottom, I can rotate the whole base. So now I'm just able to line it up, get it in the, in the bubble, boom, and then lock it off. And now my shot's level. And now I'm framing up my next shot, which would be me hanging up the coffee filter uh, on top of the peg there. I switched up to the 58 millimeter to the Helios so we can get in uh, a lot closer on this shot. So for this next shot, I want to basically sit right here in that chair there. Let me get that in focus. I want to sit there in that chair, but I need to focus the shot on me. So what I'm going to do in this case, I'm going to use my Mars Hollywood uh, Hollyland uh, remote video sender where it basically sends out the signal video. And then it's going to connect to my cell phone and I'll be able to see my focus. I basically just plug this into the HMI on my, on my uh, Canon EOS. And then um, I'll have a wireless video signal. So I'm going to hook that up. All right, guys. So basically, this is what I see when I use this app here. I'm on the app. I got the Helios hooked up. I've made this board right here, guys. Um, I made this board here to help me when I'm filming by myself. It's just like a little chart here that I found on the internet just to help me focal to get my focal point so and then I'm going to be sitting here in the chair and then this app allows me to if I remove this here and then if I can go ahead and sit behind here trying to keep the chair in the exact same position all right let's see now I can see I'm a little bit still out of focus so I'll probably need to bring that up a little bit what's nice here I can use this magnifying glass in this app here and really focus in. Whenever I focus, I try to, fo when I'm focused on my face, I always try to focus and keep my eyes sharp. If the eyes are sharp, that's the most important thing. The eyes are to the soul, you know, basically. So uh, my eyes are definitely not focused. So I'm gonna need to try to tweak the focus just a little bit here. And this is what sucks about filming by yourself. I have to go back and forth and just tweak it here until we can get it just right. That's even worse, so I need to go the other direction. So another advantage of using a tripod like this, again, uh, now I need to change my battery really fast on my camera, So which is super nice. Flip this switch, unlocks it, press this tab down right here, and then I can just lift it out, boom, just like that, literally one-handed. It's got this special rail track that connects to the bottom here and allows me just to drop it inside the slot here and lock it in. And then putting it back again is super, super easy. Boom. And then lock it back in and I can move it forward and also too. So super nice. One downside about, about filming with this camera here with the, uh, with the uh, Magic Lantern hack on it, it sucks up batteries super quick. So like I can literally probably get about 30 minutes recording time. Depends on a lot of things and how hot the, the camera is and lots of, but that battery that I had right now, for this one lasted about 20 minutes so luckily I have like three of these which really helps so that's the only negative about filming with this camera versus filming with my cell phone battery power is just you got to really have a lot of batteries it does come with antennas but I'm so close that I never really use them I'm never stretching the range so alrighty so now we got the Helios uh, on here the 58 millimeter I'm going to sit right here in the chair. I have the 58 millimeter on there to isolate me from the background. I don't want to really show all the background because it's just going to be me drinking the coffee. So isolation, that's the whole point of using a lens closer up to get that depth of field is to isolate your subject from the background. Basically what's happening right now as I'm showing you this, you can see the background here is a little bit blurry and it's bringing this, it's making this lens pop out a little bit more. Vice versa, if we kind of just shift the focus, now that's the main focal this is not even an issue, so that's why it's kind of out of focus. That's the whole point of the depth of field. That's the main reason is to separate your subject from the background. So if we want to go back to our lens here, boom, now that's our separation. It's That's not the focal. This is the main focal. All 
Alright guys, so basically whenever I film with the Canon EOS in, in RAW format with the Magic Lantern, I need to convert the files. Uh, this is MVL app. This allows me to convert the files because coming off the camera, they are not ready to be viewed. They are special, uh, special, I think, MVL files, what it's called. And uh, quickly, let me load up the uh, actual shots. Yeah, they're MLV files and they're unviewable. So you have to basically bring them into here. This will convert them. And it's, it's, it's really easy. The workflow, some people complain about, but for the quality that I'm getting, I don't complain. It's really easy. So here's my clip. Basically, you can watch. Okay, so this is coming raw out of the Canon right now. This is the raw Canon no enhancement straight off the sensor, full 14-bit raw. So what I can do here, if I wanted to, um, I can come in here, and these are like settings if you got some noise and stuff like that. Typically, typically I just do a chroma, chroma smooth on level 2, and uh, that's pretty much all I do. And then the most important thing, which is super cool here, I can change it to profile. I can do just standard what you see here, or I can save it as a flat profile. For example, I can go my Alexa C, uh, and that gives me a flat profile. Uh, there's a couple of other ones in here, Cine Log, S Log, or I can just go straight up Rec 709, you know, straight out of it. Just don't even have to worry about it. But I like grading stuff, so I go Alexa Log C, and um, I could add sharpening right here and all that, but I don't. I just leave it just like that. And then what I do is I copy this right here. This will copy this. And I want to say yes, and then I'm going to paste that to all of the clips here. So they all will take on that flat profile. Okay, so now they all have the flat profile on here. We can check and see that. Look at that image. I just love it. Now, the only negative about filming with the Canon EOS and with the, you see here, I don't know if you guys can really, let me see, maybe something on like this. You really can't see it, but you'll get these chromatic depending like especially on grid system you might see a little bit in here i don't know if you guys can even really see it i'm nitpicking they've 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 worked on cleaning it up but like you get like these rainbow like tiny imperfections which i don't have at in the moment in, in the, any of these shots which is nice so i don't have to worry about that okay so now that i have all these ready to export i'll go ahead and select them all and then I come in here and select my export settings. I can export at 2K, 4K, uh, HD, or I can go raw DNG files. Now I'm going to be grading this in the Dehancer plugin, and the Dehancer plugin is a little heavy on my system, and I already experimented doing 2K, 4K, and it doesn't work. Uh, so it, my it, my system crashes. I don't have enough uh, strong enough GPU. So I'm going to do everything at HD, and then I'll go jump into uh, DaVinci Resolve. <laughs> 